we ask you about us in prayer and meditation, it's minister Gilbert shall lead us in prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus, once again we come before you, Lord. Father, we want to thank you. God, we want to thank you for another day. God, it's a day you have made, and Lord God, we want to rejoice and be glad in this day. Lord, we want to thank you, Lord, for how you allowed us, Lord, to wake up this morning. God, even with the activities of our limbs. God, we want to thank you for your mercy and your grace bestowed upon us. Father God, now we ask, O oh Lord, that you look down upon the people of God. We pray, Lord God, that you bless our pastor and the bishop and apostle, Bishop Melton Green. We pray, Lord, that you touch him, that you heal him, Lord God, in his body. Lord, that you build him up and strengthen him in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we pray even now, Lord, for our assistant pastor, Bishop Melvin Samuels. Lord, we pray, oh God, that you would touch him, Lord. Lord, that you bless him now in the name of Jesus. Lord God, that you send your word, Lord, through his mouth, oh God. That those that hear the word of God, Lord, they be pricked in their hearts. Lord God, they'll find themselves, oh Lord, and they'll cry out, what must they do to be saved? Lord God, they get in the way, O oh Lord, and they want to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of their sins. And Lord God, be determined to live a holy and sanctified life. Hallelujah, God. Lord, we pray, Lord, even now that you look upon those that are sick, those that are afflicted, even oppressed and bound. God, that you send a healing upon them. Lord God, even in the minds, O oh Lord, you heal the minds in the name of Jesus. Even now, Lord, we pray, oh God, that you look upon the past, the, the, the president and his cabinet, oh Lord. All the politicians, Lord God, that you help them, Lord. Oh God, to seek you, oh Lord God, for you are the ruler of this land. Oh God, we pray that you touch them. Help them, Lord, in the name of Jesus, upon their decisions. Now, oh God, we pray, Lord, you look upon the people of God. Lord God, that you touch us. Lord, that you help us. Lord God, to help us to stand firm. Stand firm in your way. Lord God, to keep your commandments and to stay in your holy statutes. Lord, we want to thank you for all you've done for us. Help us. Build us up. Strengthen us in the name of Jesus. God, we'll never forget to give your name the praise and all the glory. It's in your name we pray. In Jesus' precious holy name. Amen. Friends and neighbors, you're tuned to the Bible True Gospel Radio service coming to you from the Holy Temple Church of the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostolic Faith. Bishop Belton Green invites you to visit us here at the Headquarters Temple, located at 2075 Clinton Avenue, Bronx, New York City. Service Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, 7.30 p.m. Sunday, noonday. Now, in case you're interested in reading some biblical literature, the mailing address is Bishop Belton Green, P.O. Box 523, Bronx, New York, zip code 10457. It will be sent to you free of charge. We will now have a selection from the Holy Temple Senior Radio Choir, dedicated to our radio listeners entitled, Down on My Knees. Down on my knees when trouble rise, I go to Jesus beyond the sky. He promised me. That's why I'm a telling all about it down on my knees, down on my knees when trouble. Go to 
to Jesus beyond the sky. He promised me That's why I'm a telling. That's why I'm a telling. That's why I'm a telling. All about it. Down on my knees. Down. On my knees, on my knees. When, trouble rises, when trouble rises, I go to Jesus, go to Jesus. beyond the sky. Beyond the sky. He promised me, he will hear my plea. That's right, I'm a tell.
you're tuned to the Bible True God's radio service coming to you from the Holy Temple Church of the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostolic Faith. Bishop Belton Green invites you to visit us here at the Headquarters Temple, located at 2075 Clinton Avenue, Bronx, New York City. Service Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, 7.30 p.m. Sunday, noonday. The 53rd National International Women's Conference will convene at headquarters beginning on Monday, February the 13th, concluding Sunday, February the 19th. Bishop Belton Green, Apostle, Pastor General Overseer, Bishop Melvin Samuel, Assistant Pastor, and Mother Pat Gates, Chairman. Now at this time, it is my pleasure to present unto you from the Holy Temple Church of the Lord Jesus Christ, the next voice you hear, Assistant Pastor, Bishop Melvin Samuel. Cry loud, spare now. Oh, I'm gonna lift up my voice like a trumpet sound. Show my people their chance for the house. Cry loud, spear now. Oh, I'm gonna lift up my voice like a trumpet sound. Show my people that giant for the house. I love spare night. I Lord, I lift up my voice like a trumpet now. Show my people their giant for the house. I love spare night. Oh, let us lift up a voice like a trumpet. Show my people that for the house. I got trumpets. Show my people that giant for the house. Amen. Amen. Let the church say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord again. Truly, indeed, again, we are bound to give great honor, praise to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the head of our life, the one who is worthy of all the praise. Indeed, he is worthy of all the honor, all that we can render to God Almighty. He is worthy of it all. Amen. And truly we want to thank God. We want to praise God from the depths of our heart for all that he has done for us and that which he's still going to do. We do on our very own beloved Bishop and Apostle, none of our beloved Bishop Belton Green, thanking God always for him. Thanking God for me allowing me this privilege. Come before you all in Raiderland, filling in yes. his stead once more. Thank God for the word of God. It's going to live it and it's going to abide it forever. No man live it. Going to be able to come along and change the purpose of God. 
God say in his word, what I say to one, I say to all. Thank God he brought it and he prepared it before the face of all people. And the world won't have no excuse Amen. when he come. I'm thanking God for those a true worshiper that have a mind to worship him in spirit and in truth. Everybody does have a mind for the truth. But I'm thanking God you are blessed when you have a mind for the truth of the gospel. I believe he's saying in St. John chapter 4 and verse 21, you're going to run across a lot of people say they worship. Mm -hmm. Jesus said unto her, Jesus said unto her, Woman, woman, believe me, believe me, the hour cometh. The hour cometh. And ye shall neither in this mountain. Read on. Nor yet at Jerusalem worship the Father. Worship the Father. Ye worship, ye know not. My God, that's a sad thing. Worshiping. And ye know but not what. But you don't know what. Jesus. Know not what. We know. My God, what a blessing when you know. But we know, what we worship. hallelujah, Praise my God. God, it's a blessing when you come among a true worshiper. God. My God, so many worship, but they don't know. He know not what. Yes, we know. We know what we worship. My God, that's why we are so steadfast. My God, why? Because, you know, when, when you're doing, I was just, just coming off a trip, leave here yesterday morning, and went on to, from New York, Charlotte, then went on to Savannah, Georgia, and went on to Yamasee, to the fellowship they have there. Thank God we preach, and we preached there last night, and thank God every now and then. You're going to come across a true worshiper. So we preached down there. And after I finished, a lady, the owner for the place, she from the white race and she they own the whole center, a community activist. They I preached there before and she owned the center and the building. So when Bishop Bleach said he went to ask, can he have the center to rent again? He asked. She asks him, is the tall man coming back? The tall man, is he going to be here again? <laughs> you know, it's a blessing when you can hear God's word. Don't tell me God's word don't have effect. You know what you remember me for? To remember me for the word of God. I went there, preached. The mayor was there. The last time, the chief of police. But I preached. The scripture in, in Acts chapter 16, 13 say, whose heart the Lord opened. Yeah. So I just uh, I say, thank God for Miss Charlotte. God opened her heart and she opened her door to us. So I'm saying, I'm praying for God to open your heart. And she never forget that message. I went there yesterday. She told Bishop, please, when he come, let him come see me. So I went on back in the back uh, between service. She were in the store. She said, you going to preach again tonight? I said, yes, ma'am. She said, I'm going to get my Bible. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. I said, she said, I'm coming out. You know, it's a blessing when God, God will open up somebody's heart. My God, I also want to thank God for our sister here. God open her heart and give her a love for the truth. We have our sister Kekel. She traveled all the way from Albany. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Coming all the way from upstate New York. Coming from Albany. With our two children. What's the matter? God opened up our heart for the truth. She said, I want. She called. She spoke with me last week. She said, I thought she were in Queens. 
But she's telling me, no, I'm in Albany, but I'm coming. I got to take the Greyhound bus. I want to come among the true worshiper. I'm saying you are blessed. When so she's here sitting here with us, I, I, I make every sacrifice so I could make it back here to meet her. Enemy fought, got delayed, plane, have problem in Washington, D.C. coming back. They were uh, look like and they were going to say they couldn't start the plane. But we sit there and pray God started. God is a way maker. God knows we got a mission. So listen, you know I'm saying you are blessed when God opened your heart to the truth of the gospel. In Acts chapter 16 and the 13th verse, Yes. And on the Sabbath, we went out of the city. We went out of the city. By Riverside, where prayer was wanted to be made. You see, you got to see the need for prayer. Everybody don't know the need and the value of prayer. Yes. I say it many times, and I say it again. Prayer is not preaching time. Prayer That's right, this is time. not a time when you, when you hear somebody get on their knees in prayer. And you going to preach to God? Jesus. My God, you get on your knees yeah, to make your supplication, make it known unto God. My God, you get on your knees to pray. Prayer is not preaching time. Somebody you see get on the knees doing that's somebody who don't have no knowledge. My God, here was a time where Jesus preached. But then when he was going through in the garden of Gethsemane, he get down and he began to pray. Great sweat fell from him like drops of blood. He was in agony. Prayer is not a time you get on your knees preaching and condemn. That's somebody who don't have no knowledge. You better get me. Let me bring that out before you go. We are prior will need to be made. It's a blessing when the Bible says, be not ignorant. Hallelujah. Don't be ignorant. Hallelujah. Prior time is a time we come before God Hallelujah. to cry out, yeah. make our request, make no. You don't come before God to preach to God that somebody don't have no knowledge. Amen. Let me clear that up. Get me Matthew chapter 6 and verse 7. Jesus said, he that believeth in me, as the scripture have said. Yeah. Let me hear what the scripture say. But when you pray. When you pray. You vain repetition. Don't use vain. You ain't come to preaching. And most times they're talking and they don't even know what they're talking about. Hey. Don't use vain repetition. As the heathen do. Don't be as the heathen do. Well, they think that they should be heard. They think they're going to be hard. Amen. God said you make nothing for he won't even hear you. He ain't going to hear you for your much speaking. Yes. Read on. Be not you there for liking unto them. God said I don't want you to be like them. Don't get on your knees preaching. Read on. For your father know what things you have to before you God, ask him. you got a God in heaven. He knows. What thing? He knows. He knows. What thing? He knows. Praise God. He knows. You don't have to preach to God. My God, you need God's mercy. He's the Father of mercy. He's the God of all comfort. God going to make a piece of flesh come instruct him. He asked Job, say, will thou instruct me? Read on. When Father, know what things you have need of. He know what thing you need of. Before you ask him. Before you open up your mouth. Before you open up your mouth. He know you need that thing. He know you need it. He told, he told Philip, tell, tell Nathaniel I found him. Who Moses spake concerning in the law. Hey, Philip, uh, can, uh, Nathaniel said, can any good things come on out of him? He said, come see. My God, when he get, when Nathaniel get to Jesus, Jesus said, behold, I'm Israelite Indeed. in whom there is no God. He, Nathaniel said, where you know me from? 
How you know me? He said, I saw you when you were out there under the fig tree. I saw you before you get under the fig tree with Phil. God know all men. He know what's in men. He know you intend all that loud crying and hollering to upset somebody. Don't think you're serving an ignorant God. My God, oh, 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 oh the day were just Baal prophets were hollering, oh, Baal, oh, Baal. They cut themselves. They have such a zeal, but not according to knowledge. But they didn't get no answer. But the man of God, my God, Elijah, he did it according to God's word. Hear me now. When you do it according to God's word, you can get the answer. Going back to Matthew chapter 6 and 7. You, but when you pray. When you pray. Use not vain repetition. Don't get up with a lot of vain and your knees. Who are you preaching to? Prayer time is prayer time. That's it. Peter and John get up there. They went in the temple at the hour of prayer. They never went in to preach. No, sir. They were preachers. But it was prayer time. Read on. Read on. Be not therefore. Be not therefore. Liken unto them. Liken unto them. For your father know what things you have need of. He knows what things. He knows. What things? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He know what things. You have need he of. know what things. Saints go boldly before the throne of grace. So you can find help to help you in the time of need. He knows what things. You have need of. My God, he know. He know. And he will supply your need. He said, cast all your cares upon him. For he careth for you. He knows. I serve a God. He know everything. Sometimes say, I know you. Oh yes. Sometimes the flesh get tired. But he know how to increase my strength. Said the youth shall faint and be weary. The young man shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. I came on back from Yamasi and head on back to Savannah to get the flip my flight. My God, get up five in the morning. Went on back and pressed my way. But God can renew your strength. He knows. I feel good about God. He know what things you have need of. Before you ask him. Before you open up your mouth and ask him. Tell him about it. Before you ask him. He knows. Get me Isaiah. Let me hear what Isaiah say. Then I'm going on back to Acts 16, 13. Isaiah 65 and 24. Hallelujah. I'm so glad to serve such a great God that know everything. He knows what you have need of. Before even before you open up your mouth. He know all men. That's the thing I love about God. He said he know all men. And he know what's in man. You know God know everybody. He know our uprising. He know our down sitting. Isaiah chapter uh, 65 and verse 24. And it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. That before they call. Before they call. A prayer answering God. Yes. My God, tell him, hold oh. on. My God, hear me now. Before you call. Yes, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to answer. Read on. And while they are yet speaking. Before you get the word out. I will hear. Oh, that's who you want to hear you. You ain't going to hear you because of your much speaking. No. God, hey, God is the only wise God. He ain't going to hear you before your mother speaking. Say your father with hair in secret. He going to reward thee openly. That's the one you want to reward you. My God, you, you, you know, Hannah pray. Hallelujah. Only our lips move, but our voice were not heard. But Hannah get down to business. My God, and he decree, he desire a man child. 
He said, Lord, if you will only look up and the affliction of thine handmaid and grant to thy handmaid. Otherwise, he, she, will, she got bold. You can get in God Hallelujah. and faith make you get bold. Say, so whatsoever thing you desire, when you pray, believe that you have it. Hey, God, you receive it and you shall have it. So Hannah went and believed God. Grant unto thy handmaid. My otherwise, she were barren now. You think she will say, Lord, whatever you bless me with is all right. Mm -mm. But Hannah said, I want a man child. I want a man child. My God. And the word of God said, The Lord, remember Hannah. And when that child were born, it was a man child. Call his name Samuel. Say why? Because I ask him of the Lord. And God grant him. I God say when you pray. You better get me Acts now. Get me Acts chapter 16 and verse and verse 13. You got, you got to feel the need for prayer. Sometimes I know how to break away. It's enough talking. It's praying time now. I to steal away on, somewhere right. and pray. Yes. It's enough talking. Yes. I feel the need for prayer. Yes. I feel the need for prayer. My God, sometimes you ought to feel the hunger and the longing for prayer. Yes. It's yes. enough talking. Yes. My God, I got to break away Come somewhere. On. I need that fellowship with God. My God, my God, I need the fellowship. With God Almighty, you got to know when to break away and get in touch with God. Listen what the word of God says. And says. on the Sabbath, and on the Sabbath we went out of the city by the riverside. By the riverside. Where prayer was wanted to be made. You ought to feel the want for prayer. Yes. Sometimes they have all night prayer. Every, you know, that's a blessing to get in all night prayer. Amen. I have to leave here early yesterday morning. My God, I preached, came in Friday evening, but I have to leave early again. So I couldn't stay in all night prayer. But my God, my heart was down here with them. My God, prayer was won. Hallelujah. Prayer was won to be made. And we sat down. We sat down. We spoke unto the woman who resorted thither. Somebody going to resort to yeah. thither. Read on. And a certain woman named Lydia. Read on. A seller purple of the city of Thyrea. Read on. Which worship God. Worship heard God. Heard us. Somebody going to hear this gospel. They heard us. God, the law open. Who did it? The Lord open. Whose heart? The law open. You know God going to open somebody's heart. That's it. This somebody is. somewhere, someplace. Hallelujah. Whose heart? My God. God, as I was preaching last night, I tell them God is able. I say, I don't care what it is. God can open your heart. I say, God not afraid of that problem you're going through. I say, God not afraid. I don't care what sickness. I don't care what the problem is. He can be touched with the feeling. Our infirmity. I told them about the, uh, the man with the uh, leprosy over oh, people have I've seen people with leprosy Lepr people with lepra they, they isolate them otherwise they don't want them to mix with the public it's kind of can we can't let you mix and they put them aside all by themselves my God nobody touch them they're there all by themselves but oh we got we serve a God He's not afraid to, to touch Amen. that condition. No, not only that he can be touched, but he can touch that problem. My God, they have him, uh, they have this man, a leper man came to him. Now I'm combining those scriptures, follow him in the word. That's in Mark chapter 1, chapter 1 and verse 39. God not afraid of your problem. He's not afraid of your condition. He said, cast all your cares upon him. He cares for you. He can fix it. He got the power to fix it. Ain't nothing too hard that 
God can fix. He asks them, is there anything too hard for God? The things that are impossible with man, with God. Fight your battle with God and by God, you got to come out with the victory. It look impossible with man, but with God. All things, all things, all things, all things. I don't care how bad it look. I'm going to get the victory with God. I'm going to fight my battle with God. What you say, Isaiah? The weapon of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty. I'm going to pull it on down. I'm going to pull it on down. I'm going to pull down everything. I'm going to pull it on down with God, true God. Hallelujah to God. He is a weapon of a warfare are not carnal, but mighty. Hallelujah. God can fight for you. Hallelujah. He know how to fight for you. He told Jehoshaphat, the battle is not yours. The battle belongs to God. Otherwise, get out the way, Jehoshaphat. Just move yourself. Let me fight the battle for you. Jehoshaphat, tell him, we don't know what to do. But our eyes is on thee. But my God, he sent and said, you won't need to fight in this battle. Oh, King Jehoshaphat, the battle is not yours. Sometimes you're in the battle and you try to do it on your own. But if you can just move yourself and turn it over to God, hallelujah to God, the battle is not yours. The battle belongs to God. Go it out against them. He know where your enemy at. You find them coming up by the brook of Jewel. You won't need to fight. Set yourself. Stand here still and see. Hallelujah. Let God work for you. Let God fight for you. God want to fight for you. Don't put don't get in God's way. Just move yourself. He know how to work it out. Yes. It's already work out. Praise it's God. already work out. Sometimes you're struggling with it. It seems like a mountain. But God can bring that thing. He can move it out your way. God can move mountain to give you the victory. He moved. Hallelujah to God. He moved the Red Sea. Hallelujah to God. Jordan were driven back. God can move something to give his people the victory. All you got to do, hold your confidence in God. God not afraid of that condition. He not afraid of that problem. Mark chapter 1. And verse and verse 39 now. And he, preached he preached in the synagogue. In the synagogue. Well, all Galilee. All Galilee. Cast out devils. Go, oh, he's the devil boss. Yes, he's the devil boss. He's the devil boss. My God, the devil cry out. I know who thou art. You are the holy one of Israel. Are you come to torment me before he said, Hold your peace. Don't speak no more. Hold your peace. Yeah. And the devil have to hold the peace. And they have to come out. One place he charged them. He said, they told him, I know you're going to cast us out. But if you cast us out, like God, don't let us go. Suffer us to go in this one. He said, go. Go. God is the devil boss. Go. My God, I have to go. Sign run violently. Drown themselves in the water. What a mighty God we serve. God can move something out your way to give you the victory. I don't care what it is. Somebody might say, might as well you don't go on back. Keep on going back. Keep on coming. He said, because of the continue coming, she weary me. Hear what the angels judge said. And shall not God offend his own leg. I'm going to stay at the altar. I'm going to keep on crying day and night. Though he be along with them. I tell you, he will offend them speedily. So back in Mark chapter 1, 39. Read on, sir. And there came a leper to him. A leper to him. Beseeching him. 
beseeching him. Kneeling down to him. You know, God loves when you humble yourself. Amen. I mean, you think God don't look, you come tell him, do it. Preaching to him. Mother. Mother. Who are you? Yeah. Come to get on your knees and preach to God. As an hour of prayer. For us to come and make our request known yes. to God. You come in to preach to God, disturbing everybody. You ain't preaching to God. No, sir. You got a strong delusion. That's it. Devil give them a strong delusion. That's right. Read on. And there came a leper to him, beseeching him. Beseeching him. And kneeling down to him. Kneeling down to him. to him. Saying unto him. If thou will. I know you can do it. I know you can if do thou it. Will. I'm coming to you, Lord. If thou will. Thou can make me clean. I know you can clean me up. Hallelujah. I'm a leper. No man want to touch me. Hallelujah. I'm out here. Just, I know you speak the word. Thou can make me clean. You can just speak the word. You can make me clean. I know you got the power to do it. My God, read on. Jesus moved with compassion. Jesus moved with, move com with compassion. Put both his hand. You see, God not afraid to put his hand on the yes. problem. I don't care what problem you have. God can touch that problem. Yes. He Hallelujah. put forth his hand. No yes. man wanted to touch him, but the master touch him. Put forth his hand. My God, you know, God can touch you. He can be touched. He can be touched. Yes. He can be touched. He can touch you and touch him. And said unto him. Said unto him. I will be thou clean. I will be thou clean. Be thou clean. And what? And as soon as they spoken. Read on. Immediately leprosy departed from him. What a mighty God. Immediately. Departed from him. God not afraid of that condition to touch it. Immediately departed from him. It departed from him. And he was cleansed. God can get that thing out. He was cleansed. Yes. And straightway. Straightway. Charge him. Charge him. For which send him away. Send him away. And said unto him. Said unto him. See thou say nothing to any man. You know when God do something for you, you gotta tell somebody. They sing a song, say, I gotta tell somebody. I just can't keep it to myself. My God, God, charge him. Don't tell no man. But what? See that I say nothing to any man. Hallelujah. But go thy way. Go thy way. And show thyself to the priest. Read on. And offer for thy cleansing those things which Moses commanded. Read on. For testimony unto them. And to them. But he went out. He, he was so glad. He was so glad. Yes. The condition were gone. He went out. Well, he went out and began to publish it. My much. God, he published it so much. And to blaze. He bla I love to publish Jesus. I was sitting on the plane. I say, I'm going to get busy this year. The Lord bless. I was preaching this same scripture in Yamasi at the center. And the lady was there going back there now to Acts chapter 16, 13. And Say, on the Sabbath. Uh, on the Sabbath. We went out of the city by the riverside. Read on. Where prayer was wanted to be made. Prayer was wanted to and be we made. We sat down and spoke unto the woman. Hallelujah. Which resorted thither. Resorted thither. And a certain woman named Lydia. Her name Lydia. Sell her purple of the I city of God, I, I told her, I said, a certain woman named <laughs> Ma, Ma, Miss Charlotte is here. And you got your store. I'm speaking to you here now. Spar speak to Lydia, but I'm coming to you now. Yeah. Right, she said, I'm holding my Bible. Read on. A seller of purple. Seller of purple. Of the city of Thyatira. Read on. Which worship God heard us. Is somebody going to hear God work? Yes, who are? My God, that lady was there last night. As I began to preach it, I could tell the word of God was going to. After I finished, another lady, she stood, has let the bishop please make the other. The lady stood up. Not only did she stood up, she came all the way down to talk to me. I've been a Baptist. I've 
baptized when I was 12. How were you baptized? Did you baptize in the name of Jesus? No. I said, you got to get it right. The right baptism. She said, I want it. My God, Mother Weber, Mother Weber and Ella Boston and, and, and Bishop Lee took her. My God, and they took her and baptized her last night. My God, about the living, they baptized her in the name. I think the priest said his first baptism in his pool, but they baptized her. And she came up out the water. Mother Weber said she wanted to tell you something. She said, I feel so light. I feel so light. When I went in the water, a weight fell off me. My God, my God, I feel light. Yes. My God, sin is a weight. You got to get rid of that thing. Yes. She yes. came up. They were just walking around and talking and everybody fellowship. She there so happy. I, tell them, I say, I got to head on back to Savannah. I got to get up early in the morning to head on back to New York. But thank God, that's the nine souls got baptized in, in, since Amen. in one month. My Amen. God, in the month of January, nine got baptized. Don't tell me God not working. My God, you don't know it, but I'm not ashamed to tell the world. The Lord yes. well done, is in his holy temple. Let all the earth silence everything. My God, the world need to come among us. You need to come among us. My God is an honor, is a privilege. I was dropping off the rent a car this month early with the rent a car company, and the lady was there checking me. And I don't know, I never seen a lady before. I just dropped in, she said, Give me the key, sir. She said, Sir, I want you to know it's an honor and it's a privilege meeting somebody like you. She see the light. We are the light of the Amen. world. Praise a city God. that sit up on a hill cannot be hid. This is you hear me? Otherwise, you want, you want to get in touch with you. I was rushing to get my flight. But let me tell you, you are privileged when you come across a child of God. It is an honor and it is a privilege to come across a child of God. Read on, sir. Whose heart? Whose heart? The Lord opened. God opened that lady heart last night. Yes. And she said, I want to be baptized. Man. God going to open. God opened nine souls' heart since the year started. My God, nine souls. Whose heart? Open. My God, in 28 days, nine souls, he opened the heart. Don't tell me God is not among us. Man. My God, and I will preach in that gospel. My God, I said, when you're in God's church, you can look for results. I said, the reason why you're not getting it, because you, you call God church an organization. I say you don't have no knowledge. But when you get in God's church, my God, my God, Paul got in it, and Paul said, I count myself happy. My God, it's a privilege. Somebody, you know, who don't have no knowledge, you say, God, church, he's the head of the body. Yes. Not the organization that you take. Now, I see why you're not getting your victory. You think you're just in a little organization. But I'm in the church that God started on the day of Pentecost. He's the head of the body, the church. You're in an organization. You put yourself in it now. My God, but I'm in the church. I'm in the church that God purchased. You're in an organization. That's what you say. But I'm telling you what Paul said. Feel the God have so, so much coming at me. I think God, time's going to run out on me. Yes. My God, line up and line. Precept yes. upon yes. precept. Here a little and there a little. Her sister can never leave Albany just to come to her again. She come to be among the true worshiper. Yes. The worship that don't do in a little organization. You know, sometimes people running, and uh, two men were running to David with tidings when they kill his son. My God, and one running out, running the other, and when he get there, 
David said, step aside. You don't have no good tidings. Some people run, they don't have good tidings. They're just running. My God, but we know. My God, read on. Yes. My God, I'm in Colossians chapter 1, verse 18. And, and he is the head of the body. I'm in the church. Yeah, Lord. The that, body. That he is. The head of the body. The head of the body. The church. What? The church. Not the organization. That church. You That's why you, you want to check yourself out while you're not getting results. You call it organization, but he's in the head of the body, the church. Who is the beginning? The beginning? The firstborn. Firstborn. From the dead. My God, that's what. And God, God wouldn't let Paul go but so far. Paul couldn't stop the church. No, sir. He knocked Paul down with all the letter and the authority he got. He knocked him. He fell to the ground. Lord, who art thou? I say, I am Jesus. I'm the one you persecuted. I'm, perse I'm beating up Peter and all that. No, I am the head of the body of the church. Yes. It's hard for thee. Yes, Hallelujah. You can't fight God and win. He has to humble himself and cry out, Lord, what will thou have me to do? Why? Because upon this rock, I I, I'm, in, uh, I'm in Matthew. I God 16, 16. He said, who do that man say that I, the son of man? So you know, everybody don't know who Jesus is. You put it in an organization. You, you lack understanding. Read on. And they said. They said. Some say they are John the Baptist. John the Baptist. Some Elias. Elias. And other Jeremiah, one of the prophets. Well, otherwise, we don't know. One of the prophets. He said unto them. He said unto them. For whom say ye that I am? I want to know who you say. Yeah, that I am. That I am. Simon Peter answered and said. I God answered and said. Thou the Christ. You are the Christ. The son of the living God. I God read on. Jesus answered and said unto him. And to him. Blessed are they. Blessed are thou Simon Barjona. You know you're blessed when you're understanding open. Blessed are thou. Simon Barjona. Simon Barjona. For flesh and blood. Flesh and blood. As I revealed unto thee. Read on. But my father which is in heaven. Read on. I sell unto thee. I said unto thee. Thou art Peter. Thou art Peter. Upon this rock. Read on. I will build my church. Not his, not my organization. I will build my church. That's why you're not getting nothing. Your ox and your ox are miss. Hmm. Because you think you're in an organization. But God said, I'm going to build my church. That's it, Bishop. I will build my church. And what? And the gates of hell. The gates of hell? Shall not prevail against it. Hebrews 2 and 12. I want to lay it up with some word. You'll never get around this. You can't get around it. At a foundation can no man lay. Yes. Than that which is laid. That is than Christ Jesus. Hebrews 2 and 12. Yes, saying, yeah. I will declare unto thy name unto my brethren. And to my brethren. In the midst of the church. Are you in the church or are yes. you in an organization? In the midst of the church. Hi, God died for me. I'm in the church. Amen. Amen. I'm in the church. Amen. Paul said, feed the flock of God which he purchased. With his own blood. Feed the church. Amen. Feed the church. Feed the church. Not the organization. I'm in God's church. God bless you. All of you out there now. You better hurry up. Get busy. You better run on in here. By God, you better come over here where the table is spread. Hallelujah. You better run for your life. You better get busy. All of you out there, call us up wherever you are. You know it's not preach the way you hear it preach among us. You better get busy and come. Come down with us. You got to come. God bless you. God keep you. Get busy. Call us up. Write to us. God bless you. We'll be back next week, Lord's Willing, the same station.
Same hour, the same day. You can call us at 718-584-0691. International caller can call via WhatsApp at 803-518-5454. You may also visit us on the web at www.theholytemperchurch.net. Again, you can visit us on the web at www.theholytemperchurch.net. Until then, may God richly bless you is our prayers. That's right, sing it, sing it. Yes. Hallelujah. Let the church of praise the Lord. Let the church of praise the Lord. My God gave God another hand clap. My God said. My God says. What a blessing when you know where you are. My God, you can look for victory. I don't care how long. My God, it's ever been a long time. But God is a deliverer. Yes, he, is. he is a way maker. Amen. I don't care what the condition is, saints. He got the power to fix it. God. God got the power to fix it. Amen. I don't care how bad it is. You know, he fixed it for a man that was dead. Four days. My God, mother, by now, he, I tell you, you should have come earlier. Mother, I don't know why. 
Martha said, if you would have been here. Otherwise, what are you telling the Martha? Otherwise, you're late. If you would have been here, my brother wouldn't. Hallelujah. But you wait so late. It's late. It's late. You're late. Yeah. If you did just yeah. come when we call you, my brother wouldn't die. That's it, Bishop. But now you wait so late. Man. You're late. My God, he turned to Martha. 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 If you can just believe. All I need is a little faith. Yes. You know, one place he went and he couldn't do much work. Because, because of the unbelief. Yes. But all God wants, just have a little faith in him. He said, Martha, Martha, if you can just believe, my God, saints, that's why I say, he that cometh to God must believe. Yes. You got to come believing. Amen. Hallelujah to God. Whatever you ask, in prayer, believing, you shall receive. Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. By the word of God. So here, you better get me. Saint John, yes, chapter eleven, mm -hmm. and verse one. Now a certain man, a certain man, a sick named Lazarus. Read on. Of Bethlehem, the town of Mary. Read and on. Sister Martha. Read on. It was that Mary. It was that Mary which anointed the Lord with an ointment. Read on. And, washed and wiped his feet with her hair. Read and on. Brother Lazarus was sick. Yes. Therefore, his sister sent unto him, sent unto him, saying, "Saying, Lord, Lord, behold, whom thou lovest is sick. The one you love, I know you love him. Mm. He is sick. He is sick." When Jesus heard that, he said, Read this on. sickness, this sickness is not unto death. What a mighty God we serve. Some things you go through, the devil try to scare you. Tell you, oh, you ain't coming out. Yeah. But some tests you go through, it's for the glory of God. Yeah. This sickness is not unto death. My God, God's going to get the glory out of you. I got some things you're going through. The devil try to scare you and oh, tell you, yes. oh, you ain't coming out. But something God take you through it to show forth his power, to find his glory. God know he's a healer. Just like he touched the man, the leper man. He touched him. My God, and immediately, that's the God we serve. So God know. He said, this sickness, is not unto death. my God, but God going to get the glory. God going to get the glory. Yes. Say, we are meet for the master use. We meet us. He going to, you don't know when he going to pull you out. Say, I'm going to use you today. He will put you through. I'll never forget when I get electrocuted and my hand rip apart. Lord, that's the worst test I've ever been through. I lay down to die. Been in the accident in 76 in Evergreen. Miss Bishop couldn't come. Pray for me. God raised me up. But this one, looking at my hand rip apart. My God, I look at fire shooting too much. Slave everything, man. I look at my flesh just hang over. Mm. Oh, don't tell me. That's why I can boast in my God. Don't tell me my God not real. You don't know like I know what he done for me. We serve a real God. My flesh can hang over. I got the brother that were with me and they wouldn't turn me loose. I hear Brother Jackson give his testimony about what happened to him in Chicago. Oh yeah, that power hole you ain't gonna turn till it rip. It rip my flesh, I wash my flesh, just hang over. The old mother got so nervous, she run for the water hose and grab a bucket of water. I'm there burning and hurting and begging her, don't throw no water. He had a brother, I tell him, you get some flour. He got a bag of flour, both of them gone on. He got a five pound bag of flour and he was so nervous. I said, throw the flour. She ain't have no fire extinguisher. I said, throw the flour on the fire. 
It would put it out. He went. That's why you better know God for yourself. He went with the five-pound bag of flour. He was so nervous when he hold it up. He dumped everything in his head. And I'm still there burning. He dumped the flour. His suit and everything were white. And I'm there. Oh, Lord. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. My God, finally, all the power in the house went out. Everything went in my body. My God, I, I was there. My hand locked together like glue. The flesh hung up. I tell the brother called Bishop Goodwin. I got it when a Sunday. He, he called and I got a, I said, Bishop, I got elected. He said, what? I said, yes. I'm hurting. My hand doesn't burn up. He said, what? I said, the flesh hung off. He said, all right. Go down. Let the clean. You know the you know the word. You know the doctrine. Go let it clean it off. Jesse. I went down there when the first doctor saw me. The nurse saw me. She took off run. She said, Oh no, 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 no. This is too much for me. Not on a Sunday. I can't take this. My God, the doctor came. He said, You're gonna die. Your body gonna go in the shot. But on my way there, I was telling God, you got the power to quench the violence of fire. The thing was passing from my head to my toe. I feel all the electron just moving. And my hand said, you body going to go in the shock? We're going to do this. We're going to come. I said, no. I done been through all the pain that a man can ever go through. My God, he said, we got to do this, we got to do this. I said, I just come for you to, to clean up, move it, then, and give me a letter for my job. I can't go back to work, working with the state then. But let me tell you, God is a healer. Yeah. God is a healer. My God, the late minister James Weber, Bishop Goodwin called the late minister James Weber. He said, I want you to go over there to him and read these three scriptures. He said, God give it to me as I was praying for him. And I said, he said, Sammy, you know I love you. I said, I'm going to have to tell the sister secretary them, look me up and take it to go down to pray for him. He said, Why I'm, while I'm packing to get my bag together to come, he said, the Lord spoke to him. And tell him, you don't need to go. I'm going to send my angel. My angel! That's stronger than you. They can oh, do yes. more than you can. He told me, he said, Sammy, you know I love you. I want to come. But God forbid me to come. He said, you're going to send the angel. He said, I'm waiting on the angel. My God says I was burning from my head to only ease I could get is hold my hand up like this. Mm -hmm. Then I was preaching with my hand. I couldn't put my coat on. I have it hand and my hand in the air. God will take you through some tests so you can know him. Yeah. Paul said that I might know him and the power of his resurrection. God is a healer. My God. God says, let me tell you, well, whoever come, he said, Papa, I know you heard him. He, he was scared to come around me even to read the scripture. He said, I'm just obeying the man of God. He gave me the scripture. My God, I have to read it to you. He read the same one he read was the same one. Well, my God, uh, they quenched the violence of fire. My God, then he went to kings. My God, and he went to the dead man, touches my, he raised up. My God, I, I was holding God, saying, but there was a night to get unbearable. I preached, and I give Weber the key. I said, here, here's the key. He said, what's the matter, Papa? I said, I ain't coming back in here no more. I tell God I ain't coming back in here like this. I give him the key, say, Papa, don't talk like that. He, I guess, teary. I say, I'm going home. You ain't going to see me back. I'm tired of coming. But let me tell you, saints, when you think it's all over with man, it's not all over with God. That night I went home, 
My God, my son, I think he was 13 years old. Oh, Mel, son, uh, and he see me rolling. The pain was so severe I couldn't walk. I had to roll on the floor. My son get down and he pick up the phone and he called Bishop Goodwin. He said, Bishop, my father here just rolling on the floor. He won't talk. Bishop get up. He said, Sam, I said, I'm hurting. I'm just praying, Bishop. I'm hurting. He said, I'm waiting on the angel. I went up this day. I said, Lord, tonight, by the time the angel, if they don't come, by the time they get here, it's going to be a dead man in the bed. I went upstairs. I wasn't doubting God, but the pain was so severe. I'd rather just go. I stretch out in the bed as far as I could stretch out. My God, I turned my head to the left position. My God, I said, ain't going to see. But I didn't bother. But while I stretch up, you know, say, you got to take you. I sit here and I look at death like I was looking at Minister Newton. Death came through my window and grabbed big old black head and grabbed my left foot. And when it looked at me with that grin and it stepped out to pull, I felt the dead, of, the bread of life leaving my body. When he meant the way to make that last pull, the Lord gave me some strength in my feet. And when I pull my feet and kick, I kick that straight through the window. Don't tell me God not real, saints. I lay in my bed. My God, you got to know how to contend for the faith. I lay in the bed. When I lay in the bed, my God, and give over to that. My son was so scary. He went in the other room. He wouldn't come close to me. My God, but I'm telling you, we serve a living God. That's why I can't mix with everything. I got to be with the true worshiper. My God, I felt like a door open. Somebody walk in the room. And I'm there just waiting. Say anytime now, the bread of life going. Anytime. But let me tell you, I felt somebody walking around the bedside. This hand that were in so much pain, I felt like it were moving up and down. My God, all of a sudden, felt like I rubbed my hand, stretched it out, and my hand were all pain, and I um, went. In, feel like the pain is. I roll over, look at the bedside. I didn't see nobody. Look under the bed, nobody. But when I went in the bathroom with my hand like this and went to spin it open, it popped wide open. My God, man, tell me I wouldn't be able to use that hand no more. They want to cut it off. Say you won't have no strength in it no more. But we serve a living God. Hi, God, thank God for Bishop Green. I called Bishop Green. I said, Bishop Green, I'm healed. I'm healed. The angel came back. I'm healed. My God, God is a healer. He's a healer. My God, my, 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 my son, my son got up the morning. He ran over to peep in the room at me. He said, he see me walking up. He said, Daddy, well, I heard uh, somebody walking up the staircase last night. I heard somebody walk up there this morning. And I heard the door open. And they went in there. He said, I heard it. He said, I heard it. I heard when they opened the door and came in your room. I said, I heard it. I heard it. Then I tell him, what happened? He said, I start to open the door, but I'm glad I didn't open it. He said, he said, I tell him God is a healer. Hallelujah. God is a healer. My God, my God. Don't tell me my God not real. Don't tell me my God not real. Among us. God among us. Among us. Everybody don't believe it, but among us, which are most surely believe among us. My God, you know, I went back because every week 
I had to go and get the letter signed for my job. This time when I went back, I see the doctor, they were all white. And I walk in with my hand like this. And when he looked at my hand, he said, what happened? Never forget him. He said, what happened? And before I could open my mouth, he said, what church you go to? What church you go to? He said, I go to Shannon Baptist Church. But in a time like this, to see a miracle like this, he called all the rest of the doctors, about four doctors. He said, come look at the miracle. Come look at the miracle. Come see the miracle. I got the nurse who run away. She said, I got to come to your church. I want to come to your church. You see somebody going to hold faith in God. That you honestly contend for the faith which was once delivered to the saints. He is the same God yesterday, today, and forevermore. He says, there anything too hard for God? Just hold your confidence. Now, oh, oh, you better close me out now. He was dead. Go on there to, to uh, uh, St. John 11 and verse 11. My God, don't tell me God not a healer. There ain't no condition too hard for God. Just take it to God. You see, but I'm in the church. I'm not in an organization. I'm in the church that he purchased with his own blood. Hallelujah to God. I'm in the church that he's the head of the body of the church. My God. He know how to fix it for his people. He know how to work it out. Somebody say, let Jesus Oh, let him fix it. He's a fixer. Let him fix it for you whenever you pray. Just let him have his way. Just back away from it. He will fix it. He will fix it. He will fix it. He will fix it, will fix it whenever you pray. Just give let him have his way. He know how to
bless you. God keep you. God got the power, saints. God got the power. I don't care what the problem may be. I don't care what it is, saints. For that he is strong in power. Not one fail it. He's a powerful God. My God, a man die and he say, I'm glad I wasn't there. You know, God can lose that thing. God called the dead man. Four days he was dead. Yes. Call him Lazarus. Lazarus. Come forth. Word of God say, And he that was dead. He was dead. He was dead. Came forth. Rock Bangalore. He said, Loose him. Lose, you know, God can. I don't care what your problem is. I don't care what you're buckling right now. I'm here to tell you, God can lose that thing. I don't care what you're going through. God can lose it. You know, the devil is a liar. God touched the man. He got the victory. I don't care what you're up against. God said, Loose him. 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 I don't care what the problem. Take it to Jesus. He can lose you. He can fix it. He touched him. He got the victory. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. What he done for others, he will do it for you. Tell him to lose it. Lose it. Lose it. God bless you. God keep you. Just turn it over to Jesus. Turn it over to Jesus. Turn it over to Jesus. Everything on Turn it over Turn it over Turn that problem to him Turn it over God bless you Don't go Don't leave here with that same problem You come here with the problem Tell God I'm going to turn it over to you. Turn it over to him. And walk away from it. Turn it over. Say so Lord you fix it. I need you to fix it. I turn it over to you. I turn it over to you. He will fix it for you. Turn it over. Turn it over to Jesus. Everything. God bless you. God keep you. Turn it over. All right, say. Here's the victory. Here's the power. Here's the might. Yeah, he already fixed it. He already fixed it. God bless you, Bishop Lewis. God bless you. Tell the devil, tell the Lord I turn it over. I'm not taking it back home with me. Turn it over to him and leave it.